Hi, I'm Aisha Siddiq, a PhD student working with Dr. Hawk at the University of Missouri, USA. Today, I'll be talking about the topic, is approximate computing universally defensive against adversarial attacks in deep neural networks? I will start from the motivation towards artificial intelligence or AI and then discuss its energy and security issues. There are state-of-the-art solutions such as approximate computing. Then I will talk about approximate deep neural networks or XDNNs and their uh, vulnerability to adversarial attacks. Next, I will present a methodology for extensive adversarial robustness analysis of XDNNs using different perturbation budgets. Lastly, I will share the results for our extensive analysis and conclude the presentation with some interesting takeaways. AI or machine learning is inevitable. In our real life applications, wherever we need to do some big data analytics or drive predictions, we can employ artificial intelligence for inferring the knowledge from big data efficiently. The applications for AI are found everywhere, like in smart traffic management, smart uh, transport systems, robotics, homes, agriculture, industrial automation, healthcare, and smart grids, etc. All of these applications possess some constraints due to edge cloud communication in all these uh, smart systems. For example, energy consumption, uh, security, bandwidth, privacy, transmission energy, data path loss, transmission delay, etc. However, in all these issues, energy consumption and security are the two major concerns that we will consider in this presentation. Since there are um, transmission delay, privacy concerns, and real-time data analytics, um, at cloud servers, the systems are now being made more edge-centric. In fact, there is a huge increase in the expected market size from 920 to 2080 million units in year 2020 to 2026. For edge computing, many accelerators with parallel computing areas, such as historic areas, are being developed and uh, they are able to handle large machine learning uh, workloads. But the problem is that the edge devices are battery powered or uh, they employ energy harvesting. So large AI accelerators uh, possess an energy bottleneck uh, such, uh, at these devices. For example, the Google Edge TPU consumes almost 23 millijoule energy. Now here the question arises that how to reduce the energy consumption of edge accelerators. One of the most efficient solution is approximate computing. Uh, approximate computing minimizes the computational effort for an acceptable um, accuracy goal. It trades the output quality of the applications with the, with the power or energy consumption. For example, if we have a chain of interconnected full adders such that the carry of one full adder is the input of another full adder, and then uh, we break the uh, carry chain, then the full adders will eventually become half adders because of no more carry chain. Now the circuit for half adder will definitely consume less energy because the circuitry is reduced from two full adders two half adders composing uh, one full adder to simple one half adder. Since approximate computing uh, is self error inducing as we just noticed here, so it is only applicable to error resilient applications such as computer vision. For example, if we compose a low pass filter using approximate adders instead of accurate adders and then apply approximate um, low pass filter to this image. And then the change in pixels is not much noticeable to human eye, even um, when there is a change in accuracy from 100 to 74%. Also here we have very quite, uh, very or quite less power consumption as compared to accurate low pass filter in this blue um, uh, uh, rectangle. However, the change is visible at the last picture. So um, approximate computing is applicable within an ap acceptable quality or accuracy goal. In the last picture, there is our approximation or lots of approximation com uh, approximate computing that is, uh, it is making the image distorted. 
Approximate computing can be applied to AI or deep neural networks DNNs, by reducing the memory access to DRAM uh, or by applying uh, voltage um, accuracy scaling, uh, loop perforation skipping the loops or by relaxing the synchronization and reducing the precision of arithmetic units like um, adders, multipliers, etc. Now, the multipliers consume more energy than adders usually, so replacing them with approximate multipliers in convolutions and other uh, dense fully connected layers will help in saving the energy consumption of neural networks. A simplest way of making approximate multiplier is to break the ripple carry chain at the end of multiplier um, for a small critical path. Uh, this will eventually reduce the um, energy consumption for because of the low latency. Uh, then, but the problem is that it will also induce some uh, errors. But interestingly, DNNs inherit some resilience to approximate, uh, approximate um, computing or the approximation errors. Here it is important to note that the approximate computing is applied to deep neural networks after applying the quantization to avoid truncation of bits. Uh, unfortunately, despite having such huge potential, XDNNs are vulnerable to adversarial attacks similar to accurate deep neural networks. Uh, this eventually raises a key question uh, or um, that uh, how the uh, an adversarial attacks can attack the deep neural networks. In this presentation, we will focus on, uh, on we will be replacing the accurate multipliers within insect multipliers for applying approximate computing in deep neural networks. Um, but what are adversarial attacks and how can we deal with them? That is a key concern. The adversary can temper the input images to the inference engine in deep neural networks and add small perturbations to them such that they remain imperceptible to the human eye. Now, these small perturbations may cause catastrophic issues such as serious car crash um, in a normal scenario because an autonomous, because um, just like an, an autonomous or self-driving car may in interpret a stop sign as a 60 or 120 speed limit and eventually have a car crash. Such issues can be addressed using um, adversarial training, input images, and feature denoising, KNN, uh, Bayesian model defense mechanisms, and even quantization. Recently, quantization was used by um, recent work uh, that investigated um, like uh, how we can use quantization against um, adversarial attacks on accurate deep neural networks. They used four-layered uh, CNN or convolutional neural network, but it is not yet investigated for XDNNs specifically that whether quantization would be defensive for XDNNs or not. In fact, uh, recently Gusami et al. Uh, proposed to use approximate computing as a structural defense against adversarial attacks. He used 32-bit uh, floating point multiplier having approximate mirror adders in um, XDNN to demonstrate the defensive behavior of approximate computing. But the defensive nature of approximate computing cannot be generalized with one XDNN only. Also, the impact of adversarial attacks against different perturbation budgets is not so ex explored so far. Here, another interesting point to explore is that whether the quantization and XDNN support the defensive nature of approximate computing or not, if it exists. Also, the transferability of adversarial attacks from accurate deep neural networks to approximate deep neural network or XDNNs irrespective of the adversary's knowledge about model structure is not explored yet. To address these limitations, we conduct three analyses. The first is an uh, extensive adversarial approximation analysis where we evaluate the adversarial robustness of XDNNs using different perturbation budgets. Here, the adversary lacks the information about the inexactness of the XDNNs only. The second one is the transferability analysis, where we investigate whether the adversarial attacks generated using accurate DNNs are transferable to XDNNs or not. The difference between the first two analyses 
is that the adversary lacks the information about model structure in the second case but not in the first case. Our third analysis is about uh, quantization where we apply quantization to accurate deep neural networks and XDNNs under adversary attacks and then we compare their robustness. Now prior to running such extensive analysis or simulations for all these experiments, we performed a motivation analysis. For this purpose, we used uh, L-infinity norm-based PGD and L2 norm-based contrast reduction attacks from the Foolbox library on accurate and approximate feedforward neural networks and LANET5 here. Now, the approximate uh, feedforward neural network or FFNN and LANET5 are constructed using L1G approximate multiplier from Evo Edbox 8B library. With this analysis, we observed that the accuracy of XDNNs is higher than the accurate DNNs at some points. For example, um, let's look at level, level L1 and L2 but um, it is low or it decreases with an increase in the perturbation budget. For example, see level L3 and L4, the accuracy of XTN is, in the XTNN is decreasing from left to right. In fact, um, when we look at level L4, the approximate LANET5 undergoes 75% um, drop in accuracy with perturbation budget of 0.5. Uh, when we have L2 norm-based contrast reduction attack. This indicates that approximate computing does not offer universal defense. Hence, uh, there is a pent-up need of extensively analyzing the defensive behavior of XDNNs. Extensively. But the question arises here that how to extensively we can analyze the adversarial robustness of XDNNs. And for this purpose, we use the threat model where we consider two cases, that is adversarial um, approximation analysis and transferability analysis. In both of these cases, the adversary uses accurate DNN to craft the ad adversarial examples. However, in the first case, or in the first analysis, that is adversarial approximation analysis, the adversary does not have the information about the inexactness of the uh, XDNN, uh, but it has the information about the model structure. However, in the second case, the adversary lacks information about both the model structure and inexactness of the XDNN. Here, I can give you an example. Uh, the adversary does not know whether we are using approximate LANET5 or LXNet um, for classification at the inference phase. However, he does, just knows that approximation is, um, like he does not know whether approximation is there, but he also does not know that whether we are using uh, LANET5 or LXNet. He can use LXNet for generating adversarial examples against a LANET5 model. So basically, the adversary generates the adversary examples by adding small perturbations to the clean images such that the uh, Im input images are misclassified to an any arbitrary class in the inference phase. Here to reiterate, uh, the adversary uses accurate DNN to generate adversarial examples, but he uses them uh, to attack approximate DNN, just like shown here. For evaluating the adversarial robustness of XDNNs against uh, different adversarial attacks, we propose this evaluation methodology. Here we first train the accurate DNN using hyperparameter optimization of different uh, model parameters. Then we generate accurate DNN inference design using accurate multipliers. Next we apply fixed point quantization to make the uh, uh, input um, bits uh, within our range for the n bit um, approximate multiplier. Uh, so we apply n bit uh, fixed point quantization or like this. After quantization, we replace the accurate multipliers and accurate DNN with different n bit approximate multipliers to design uh, XDNN. 
After that, um, we generate the adversary examples using accurate DNNs and use our threat model to generate, uh, to attack the XDNNs. We evaluate the robustness of accurate DNNs and XDNNs in terms of accuracy in the end. Now here it is important to note that uh, in this work, we use TF Approx library for applying approximate convolution in eight different XDNNs. We used um, TF Approx library uh, to have less ex execution time because otherwise approximate computing uh, or unrolled approximate multipliers um, with convolution uh, takes a lot of time. For these 8x DNNs, uh, we use eight, total 8 accurate, accurate and um, approximate multipliers from Evo Approx 8B library. We are also using adversarial attacks that we are using from Foolbox library and they are total 10 in number. The datasets that we are using in this work uh, that are uh, Cypher 10 and MNESET, we are using MNESET for Linet 5 and Cypher 10 for LXNet. Our analysis showed that if uh, approximate multiplier in, in XDNN has a low mean average error, then eventually the adversary robustness of XDNN would be high. Now let's say here in this heat map, the X axis has multipliers and Y axis has uh, different perturbation budgets and we plotted the uh, adversary robustness of Linet 5 with MNESET dataset. We can see here that M7 multiplier has less mean average error as compared to M8 approximate multiplier. And that is why uh, M7 undergoes less accuracy loss, that is 2% only from 96% to 40%, but M8 undergoes comparatively higher um, accuracy loss, like 8% from 90% to 23%. Here we are using L infinity um, norm based BIM attack with epsilon 0.2. Now, um, I also would, uh, want to mention that here uh, the M1 is the accurate multiplier and all other uh, M uh, numbers are approximate multipliers. And XL5 uh, means approximate Linet 5 and epsilon 0, 0, 0 0.0 means no attack. The accuracy loss is calculated in comparison to the non-attack DNNs in these results. We also observed that an increase in the perturbation budget um, causes um, a decrease in the adversary robustness of XDNNs. This is quite similar to accurate deep neural networks, but XDNNs still have high accuracy loss as compared to accurate uh, deep neural networks. For example, the M8 approximate multiplier based um, approximate Linet 5 it undergoes 67% accuracy loss, but 44% accuracy loss only in accurate Linet 5. Uh, for this analysis, we are considering or we are looking at L infinity norm based BIM attack with epsilon 0.2. Moreover, uh, the L infinity norm based attacks affect XDNNs more than L2 norm based attacks. For example, there is more accuracy loss in, ca in case of L infinity norm based FGM attacks than their, uh, than their L2 norm based counterparts. This behavior is quite similar to accurate deep neural networks. For, comparison, um, for comparing the L2 norm based attacks and L infinity norm based attacks, we can see or look at uh, the last two heat maps in this slide. There could be small deviations from these normal trends. Uh, because of the data de dependent discontinuity of approximation induced errors, the approximate arithmetic units or multipliers actually generate um, erroneous uh, and non erroneous output bits, such as approximate uh, sum or carry bits on the basis of the input combinations. Now, the erroneous approximate bits may get masked or remain unmasked under adversarial attacks or while being uh, processed uh, through the computing layers in XDNNs. One example is here. Uh, the accuracy of M9 uh, approximate multiplier based uh, approximate 
Linnet 5 decreases initially and then it increases in spite of the adversary attack on it. This is quite obvious um, or this is quite uh, defensive behavior but basically the accuracy loss at smaller perturbation budgets is also observable in XDNNs. For example, here accurate DNN or Linnet 5 undergoes 1% accuracy loss only, but 23% accuracy loss in M9 approximate multiplier based um, approximate Linnet 5 uh, is observed under uh, L infinity norm based PGD attack. This is quite contradictory from the Gusami's work. So from all these results, uh, we can infer that approximate computing does not offer universal defense against adversarial attacks. Uh, this is because XDNS may have accuracy loss even at very small perturbation budgets. Same adversarial robustness trends are observed in case of LXNet with ciphered and dataset. However, we observe that approximate, uh, approximate LXNet performs very close to accurate LXNet under gradient um, based attacks. Coming to decision based attacks, accurate Linnet 5 and approximate Linnet 5 are both affected by these adversarial attacks and same robustness trends for L infinity and L norm based attacks with, with different perturbation budgets are observed. Interestingly here with L2 norm based CR attack with epsilon 1.5, the accuracy loss is 53% with M8 uh, approximate multiplier based approximate Linnet 5. But no accuracy loss in accurate DNN. Likewise, with L infinity norm based RAU attack with 0.5 epsilon, the uh, accuracy loss is 75% with M8 approximate multiplier based approximate Linnet 5, but 50% uh, accuracy loss only in accurate DNN. So we can say that the XDNNs are more affected by adversary attacks as compared to accurate deep neural networks. Again, uh, same adversary robustness trends are observed in case of LXNet with cipher 10 dataset under the CN based uh, attacks. However, we observe that although approximate LXNet performs close to accurate LXNet under adversary attacks, the impact of adversary attacks is more noticeable in L infinity norm based REU attack. For example, just consider uh, this heat map. Retreating for demonstrating the transferability of adversary attacks from accurate deep neural networks to XDNNs, we considered the case when the adversary is not aware of the model structure and inexactness of XDNNs at the inference engine. Our analysis reveals that the adversary attacks are transferable irrespective of the model structure. The uh, adversary may not be knowing that whether approximate Linnet 5 is used or approximate LXNet is used for classification. Here it can be observed that when the adversary uses accurate LXNet for generating the adversarial examples against Linnet 5 model, even then the, uh, the accuracy after attack is lower than before attack. Similar uh, trend is observed in all other cases. For investigating whether quantization supports defensive behavior of approximate computing in XDNNs or not, um, we compared the accurate uh, quantized deep neural networks with approximate quantized deep neural networks. As shown here, even under L, inf L infinity norm based PGD attack uh, with epsilon 0.2, there is a 58% increase in accuracy in Linnet 5 after quantization. But when we apply quanti uh, approximate computing, then in spite of having quantization in approximate Linnet 5, the accuracy decreases by 35%. The reason for this accuracy drop after adding approximate computing to quantize deep neural network under adversarial attacks is the uh, self-error-inducing indu nature of uh, approximate computing, which decreases the performance of quantized deep neural networks and hence leads to successful adversarial attacks. From these results, we can conclude that XDNs uh, exhibit mere defensive behavior under adversarial settings. Their adversarial robustness decreases with an increase in the perturbation budget and occasionally surpasses the accurate deep neural networks. Hence, XTNs are not universally defensive uh, against the adversarial attacks. Moreover, adversarial attacks are transferable from accurate to XTNs regardless of the knowledge of the adversary about model structure and uh, inexactness. 
another fa uh, interesting observation is that approximate computing and quantization act antagonistic to each other um, under adversarial attacks. They um, or the approximate computing does not support the defensive behavior of quantization towards adversarial. Thank you so much for your time. Please feel free to ask questions if any, and you can also contact me at my email address that is aisha.sadeep at uh, mail.missouri.edu.